So we just witnessed Juto Nakatani get his third knockout in a row in spectacular fashion against Chipatana, aka Knockout CP Freshmark. And you know who he called out afterwards, right? It's about to go down. Nobody. Tell us a little bit about your future plan. What did he say? Uh, I'm the who's next. Anyone who has a championship belt, I'm welcome to fight you. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm most. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So, you know, we this weekend, we had some great boxing matchups, man, including the light heavyweight undisputed championship between Arthur Beterbiev versus Dimitri Bivol, in addition to all the title fights that happened in Japan, man. You know, and the highlight was Junto Nakatani, man. Junto Nakatani did his thing, you know, and... We saw a shakeup in the Bantamweight division, you know, after Juto Nakatani beat, you know, CP Freshmark. Man, he dropped him, baby. And he went from 76 and 1 to 76 and 2. And you know who his other loss was to? Takuma anyway. But Juto Nakatani said, hey, I'm not going to be up. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be outdone. I'm going to be the first person to stop Freshmark, which he was, man. He did so in great fashion. Another highlight reel knockout put into the bag you know by Junto Nakatani now you know the crazy part of this is we had a shake up in the Bantamweight division like I said man and it was none other than Takuma Inoue who's the younger brother of the Power for Power cessation now you're in the way man Takuma Inoue a lot of us were looking forward to the potential matchup between Junto Nakatani and Takuma Inoue for unification at the Bantamweight division because we have four champions right Junto Nakatani yeah. Takuma Inoue yeah. uh, Ryosuke Noshida yeah. and Yoshiki Takuma Okay, right yeah. however you know you can't have boxing without the drama takuma in a way actually fought against Sutsumi, and he ended up losing man Sutsumi put that pressure on him man and you know it was just too much and too overwhelming for takuma in a way to overcome i think that he was anticipating Sutsumi to kind of run out of gas but he when he didn't it kind of took uh takuma in a way by surprise now with Sutsumi winning that fight which he deserved by the way you know, we have another champion. Instead of Takuma Inoue, in comes Susumi. Those of you that are familiar with Susumi, you should be if you're not. You know, he, he is the same guy who had a fight of the year candidate last year in December against Anaguchi. And unfortunately, as a result of that fight, you know, you don't play boxing. Boxing is serious. Anaguchi actually fell into a coma, had to get rushed to the hospital, and had emergency craniotomy, you know, brain surgery done on him but unfortunately the young man didn't make it you know only 23 years old rest in peace to anaguchi man he never woke up and he passed away in J january unfortunately um but moving on from that you know shout out to his family our sincerest condolences from the boxing talk family um Sutsumi was a formidable matchup you know he's a formidable matchup he has a lot of energy and you know Right now, he's undefeated and a champion. He's 12 and 0, you know, and Yoshiki Take is 10 and 0, and the other champion, Yoshida, is 9 and 0. But with Juta Nakatani being 29 and 0, he's head and shoulders above the rest of the competition. So I know that while he says, hey man, I'm calling out the other champions like he did in the clip, he didn't add any further specificity onto who he wants to fight. He just wants to fight for a belt. Now, if you like me, you want to speculate a little bit. He also didn't add any further specificity as far as the champions being in his division he just said he wants anybody with the belt well i know of a guy you know who has a belt in a higher division in fact he got four of them things yeah now you're anyway while he refrained from you know isolating anybody in particular he did just say i want to fight the champs he could have easily said hey i want yoshiki takei because yoshiki takei was actually in the building you know he was actually in the building the ringside uh, uh scouting out and scoping out the competition you know with Juto nakatani but he didn't say him specifically he didn't add any specificity at all you know he just said i want the champs so there is a little light you know what i'm saying you know in, in the tunnel a little bit for us to get that get that um 
matchup between Naya Inoue and Juk Junto Nakatani, which will be like two kaijus that will shake up Japan. You know what I'm saying? We'll fill it all the way over here in the States. I think that's a great matchup, but I will be honest though. I would prefer for Junto Nakatani to unify, at least unify. I'm not saying he has to get undisputed before he fights Naya Inoue, but I would like for him to at least unify. And for me personally, I think the most exciting fight, well, they're all exciting, um, all the other champions, you know, but for me, I think the most exciting would be Satsumi, man. I think Junto Nakatani versus Satsumi would be straight fireworks, but if he fought to Okay, uh, uh, Yoshiki Take, I'm cool with that. If you follow Noshida, I'm cool with that too, man. So I, I, I just hope, hope, I'm hoping that Junto Nakatani will have a unification in his future. That's what he expressed that he wants. And then after that unification, we could go forward with the plans of potentially him meeting Naya Inoue in the ring, man. Because I think the Takuma Inoue is already out the picture. When Naya Inoue said, hey, man, you got to fight Takuma Inoue. Well, that's when he was a champion, you know. You got to fight him first. But there's no need to fight him first now because Takuma Inoue is not, no longer a champion. Now, Takuma Inoue could always bounce back. You know, I think he's capable of it. But right now, that fight just doesn't make any sense anymore. But if Juto Nakatani... Uh, uh, if he, if he is mandated by Naya in a way to fight somebody in the family, maybe he could go fight Koki in a way. Who's at 140? I like Junto Nakatani to win there too. You know, Koki in a way is uh, Naya in a way's cousin. But yeah, all jokes aside, though, I want Junto Nakatani to try to unify and maybe even get undisputed, but try to unify and then maybe take on Naya in a way. And I think that matchup right there is fire, man. Uh, whether it happens at bantamweight 118 or super bantamweight 122, y'all let me know what y'all expect Junto Nakatani to do next. Who of the other uh, champions would you want him? to fight would you want him to fight noshida would you want him to prioritize Te yoshiki takei or would you want him to fight uh Sutsumi? like i said i think Sutsumi would be the most fireworks but any one of those uh gentlemen fighting is going to be great anyway so y'all let me know about that in the comments don't forget to like the video but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god or nothing y'all know what it is the doctor's out peace god bless from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets